Welcome to this Autodesk Inventor tutorial. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of creating sheet formats, an essential step in customizing your drawing templates. With sheet formats, you can set up predefined layouts, title blocks, borders, and everything else that you need to ensure that your drawings are consistent and professional. Let's get started and learn how to create your own sheet formats now. Creating a sheet format is a great way to cut down on repetitive tasks and increase consistency in your drawings. When you create a sheet format, you can include standard views, notes, parts lists, uh, anything that you would want in all of your drawings. You can easily include all of those things in a sheet format and then you can use those sheet formats in order to create new drawings. So in order to show you how this works, I'm going to go over here to my drawing resources in the history browser and expand this and you'll see that there's this first node up here that says sheet formats. If I expand this you'll see that there are already some existing sheet formats here in Autodesk Inventor. An A size you know with some views, a C size, and another C size for sheet metal. I'm just going to go ahead and double click on this and you'll see what happens is right away it says hey select a document that you want to make a drawing of. So I'm going to click on the button there and I'm going to pick my part that I want to make a view of. Maybe it's going to be this crankcase right here. I'll say open and then OK and you'll see what it does is it creates that A size sheet okay, with you know the, the view and a parts list and everything's ready to go. What it did is it actually created a new sheet over here instead of sheet one. Sheet one is still there, okay? See, it's that one that I originally started with, but it created a new sheet and shows it starting with that one instead. If I want to get rid of this sheet one, I can simply right click on it, choose delete, and say OK on that warning, and now that becomes sheet one, and I've got that first view. Okay, so that's the way this is going to work. Now, in order to show you how to create your own format, let's go ahead and start over again. I'll go to the Home tab down here at the bottom, and I'm going to say, let's start a new drawing. I'm going to use this mechanical border that I've created for a different video. If you want to see how to create your own border and title strip, um, I'll have a link in the notes below or at the end of this video showing you how to create that custom border and title strip. So I'll click there and then create. Now in order to clean a couple things up I'm going to go ahead and expand drawing resources here and I will expand sheet formats and I don't want any of these so I'm going to right click and delete each one of those like this. Okay and now what I can do is I can go ahead and set up my drawing the way I would want it to be in case it was you know a actual sheet format. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that by placing a base view and some other views. So I'll do the same thing that I just did here. I'll come in here and I'll find that crankcase for example. I'll say open that. Um, I want to have a couple views of it. So I'm going to say let's do it two to one. Make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. I'll have a front view, a top view, a side view, and just to make things interesting I'll put an isometric view over here as well and choose OK. So all of these, you know, if, you're make, if you've got any experience with AutoCAD or Inventor at all, you know that creating these views is pretty simple. Now maybe one of the other things that you want is whatever your base view is, you'll want to have maybe the name of it with the scale. So that's something that you can put in that sheet format. In order to turn that on, I'll right click on this base view. <clears throat> I'll choose Edit View from the marking menu. And then right here on the little toggle label visibility light, I will just click on that. It turns that light on. I can choose OK and now it turns that visibility on for that label. Maybe a couple other things you might want to have would be perhaps like a note. Maybe you want a note here that says something like verify all dimensions. So I'll say let's verify all dimensions. Okay. Uh, it could be whatever you want it to be. It could be placed wherever you want it to be. Okay, I'll just click and drag this and put it a little bit up here in the corner. So that that's, and maybe the last thing that we want is a parts list. So I'll come over here to the parts list. Um, it's asking me to select my view. So I'll go ahead and pick that front view right there. 
and then just choose OK. And then I can put that front or that parts list. Maybe I want to dock it up there in that upper right hand corner. Now that I've got that all done, what I want to do is I want to use this as a template to create my, um, uh, my sheet format. To do that, I'll come back over here and where it says sheet one in the history browser, I will right click on that and I'll come down here and choose create sheet format. It asks me for the sheet format name. So I'm gonna give it a, a fairly descriptive name. This is a B size sheet. And it's got, oops, I better turn my caps lock off here. B size sheet. And it's got three views and parts list, whatever it happens to be. You can be as descriptive as you want to be. When I choose okay, you'll see that it adds that now to that parts list there, okay? And we're pretty much ready to go. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna demonstrate how to make a template out of this so that you don't have to set this up over and over again. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll save this. It's always a good idea to save your drawings here. So I'll just call this sample drawing one. In fact, I'll just overwrite this one that's right here. Yes, I'm gonna overwrite that. <clears throat> and now what I want to do is I want to go to save again, but this time I'm going to choose save as a template. So what this does is it goes to my template area and it's gonna say, hey, do you want to you know, create a template? Notice this is not in the current project. So I'll call this a B size and I'll give it a simpler name three view with parts list, okay? And then choose save. It's gonna prompt me and say, hey, this is not in the active project. Are you sure you want to do this? I'll say, yes, I do. And say, okay, and there we go. So now the next time I come into Inventor and I want to start a new drawing, I don't have to do that all over again. I can just go to the new and notice that it shows up here in my template list. Okay, so if I click on this, I'll choose create. And the first thing that it asks me for is to select the part that I want to make. Now it could be a part or it could be a complete assembly. Okay, so I'll come in here. Notice again, it could be a complete assembly if I want it to, but it could in this case, just again, be that crankcase. When I choose open, it go ahead and it will create all of those views for me. Notice this is a different drawing. It's not that same one that we were just working with, okay? But if I wanted maybe another page, all I have to do is come up here and, and another sheet that is, expand drawing resources, expand sheet formats, there it is. If I double click on this, it says, hey, what document do you want? Maybe I want one for the back plate, okay? So I'll choose open that. <clears throat> and then say okay. And notice it creates a second sheet over here with that back plate with the same orientation and the same parts list and all of the same notes. So again, I end up with consistency, oops. I end up with consistency in my drawings. I'm gonna close this and not save those because I don't care about that. Okay, so sheet one, sheet two, and you could repeat that for as many sheets as you want and have that consistency across all of your drawings.